Hey folks, coming to you again from Kenrich Products, located in the Great Pacific Northwest. We want to introduce our pressure gauge kit. This can be installed on your GP1, GP2, GP3A, and GP6 grout pump, plastic or metal body. The only pump it will not or cannot be installed on is your GP7 due to the twin outlet uh, flanges, okay? So again, the 1, the 2, the 3A, and the 6. It's a pressure gauge, reads up to max 15 PSI. That's what our pumps are. They're a 15 PSI grout pump. All of them are. So we can install this pressure gauge on your pump, on your new pump. Why we say that is we cannot ship this out to you on the field and have you install it. Due to the modifications to the pump and the gauge kit, we do it in-house on our machines and then we assemble. So you would be getting your new pump with a new gauge and that's really the only way you can get the pressure gauge on your pump. This is what it looks like uninstalled. That's what it looks like installed. I'm gonna show you a real quick uh, test just so you can see how it works. Kind of like our test in our uh, troubleshooting video. Take the palm of your hand, place it over. And you can actually see the pump gauge working with the pressure. So I just want to show you real quick uh, the cleaning process of the gauge. Not a big deal. You've got a 9 16 and a 7 16 wrench, open end. The reason for that is, is you want to be able to hold on to the 7 16 brass fitting down here on the outlet flange. You want to hold that and don't let it move. You want to take the 9 16 wrench and just break loose the swivel. You want to repeat the steps up on top, close to the gauge. You want to hold on to the smaller brass uh, 7 16 take your 9 16 wrench and break this loose as well. Okay, they're swiveled so they're real easy to take off. And cleaning it, water, wash it out in warm water, regular hose water, tap water, whatever, maybe a pipe cleaner or even air. You want to make sure that this line is completely cleaned out, okay? If not and grout sets up in there, then it won't read right and work right and you'll have to replace the line. You also want to make sure that these fittings have no grout in them. Most likely this will not because it won't travel that far, but you need to clean this every day to keep that from happening, okay, or after every use. Another good little uh, side note is when you're changing your repair kits out in your pumps, whether it be your GP1, GP2, GP3 a or GP6, it's a good idea to detach the hose at least from one end. This is easy to take off to change your flapper valve, and then of course your top 10 screws, slotted screws, and take off your diaphragm. And then when it's all put back together in your repair kit change out, it's just simply just, you know, screw this back on. You want to make sure you don't cross your threads. They are brass on brass. If you do, we have replacement parts. So that concludes our video of the Kenrich pressure gauge for, again, the 1, the 2, the 3A, and the 6. Thanks for watching, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the near future with a new video.